what's up? It's Dave Anderson. Figured I'd take a minute, make a video, talk to you a little bit about something that has just been bugging the hell out of me. People like to throw around the word professionalism. I just want to get to the bottom line of what the definition is. Let me Google it. Professionalism. The conduct, aims, or qualities that characterize or mark a profession or a professional person. The following of a profession or for gain or livelihood. Notice it doesn't say anything about your hair. Ironically, that's what people like to focus on. If you're black, Negro, African American, Aboriginal, Dominican, whatever you are, if you're brown and your hair is considered nappy. Realize that people hate natural hair, so calling it unprofessional is a nice little code word. If it's clean and it's not falling out all over the place in clumps, it's professional. If anybody tells you differently, they have a problem that's bigger than you. Sometimes it's about insecurities and not about your hair. I wear a mohawk. Can't really tell right now, but I do. It's it's kind of an adaptation of the Mr. T uh, Mandika tribe mohawk that he popularized in the 80s. I pity the fool say something bad about my mohawk. Hey, woman! It's equally insulting to me when people think that it's okay to diminish what I have to say or, or, or the way that I look. I honestly don't care. I mean, and when I say I don't care, I mean, I could give two, count them, one, two buckets of warm wombat piss. What you think about me or my hair? Don't feel like you have to get a weave, ladies. Don't feel like you have to go press and perm your hair to make people feel comfortable. You need to be able to do you. And if you have to live in that environment and work in that environment, that's not a place you want to be. Just like if you have to have conditions on friendship, like your mama used to tell you. That's not somebody you want to be a friend with because that's not a true friend. Maybe it's time that you start your own business. It's equally as insulting for me when men and women get flack about putting their families before business. I'm sorry. I love my family. I've got a wife and two daughters. A potential client called me unprofessional one time because I wouldn't take her on for the amount of money she had. That doesn't mean I'm poo-pooing on somebody's financial situation. It just means that I can't give you $5,000 worth of time, energy, and effort for $150. Would you? And I made it clear, look, I have a wife and I have two kids and I can't justify taking that kind of time for that kind of money. Time for money is one of the biggest things that you have. But what I did was say, hey, you could take that money and join iBrand University on the undergraduate level and be great. Get a bunch of tips, get your weight up, not your hate up, get your grind up and get your mind up and you could go on about your business and make some things happen. But she didn't want to do that. So she got really offended. I mean, greatly offended. And she even went as far as to call a friend and call me unprofessional. If I'm unprofessional for putting my family before your wants needs, to quote the immortal Reggie Noble, I'll be that, I'll be that, I'll be that. Do you know what is unprofessional? Agreeing to do business with somebody and then turning around and renege. Now I don't ever have an issue with somebody reneging, but when you renege and I don't know why or what happened, that is unprofessional. It's unprofessional to critique something that you are unwilling or incapable of doing when it's somebody else's business. It's unprofessional to tell me to go get a real job when the truth is you'd love to do what I do but your choices have led you down one path and led me down another. Them's the breaks. The good news is as long as you have breath in your lungs you can make better choices. I'm Dave Anderson. Hit me up. Info at innerbrand.org.